Let's BIM together Revit tip number six, attach a wall to a reference plane. Now since college, when I learned Revit in the beginning, I knew right away that you have to, you can attach walls to either floors or roofs. What I didn't know is until like five years into using Revit that you can actually attach it to a reference plane. So the way before, let's say I have this bent beam here, you can see it. Um, and then I have this wall that goes up to the bent beam, right? The way I used to do it is I would actually, I mean, you still can, it's not wrong, it's just different, but I would draw the profile of the wall, right? Uh, but then, let's say I reset it, what I didn't know is that you can actually have a reference plane and I can have all the walls attached to it. So now I reset the profile of the wall, here it is. All you have to do, I'm gonna go to my section here. Uh, let me turn my line weights off. We're gonna go to the architecture tab. And then we're going to click reference plane and we're just going to draw a reference plane from here to here. So now that we have a reference plane, you can name it if you want. I can actually select this wall again, go back to this view and we're going to click attach top base and I'm going to select shift select or tab select, excuse me, that reference plane. Now this wall is actually attached to the reference plane and the profile is still the default profile. As you see, Revit removes the top attachments. And there you have it, Revit tip number six, attach a wall to a reference plate. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope to see you in the next Revit tip.